guys, it's me, Life Simmer, and welcome to part 20 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get To Work. So in the last part, we found out that Levi was Pregos, and look, he's feeling it. He's feeling it right now. Well, good. It's your own fault, buddy. You had to go outside to see what mysterious light was going off, so you know what? I blame nobody but you. And also, um, we moved into a new house, which for the most part, you guys really, really like. Um, I asked you guys where we should put our selfie wall. And a lot of you suggested right over the eggs and also right, not here, right here in the craft room on the wall. So I think I'm going to have to do the craft wall over here because there is a window right there and all of that. Also, you guys were suggesting for me to put on auto light. But I'm going to test it out and see if I like it for a little bit uh, for you guys. And also, you guys gave me suggestions and tips on how to um, make sure he has a girl or you know, increase the chances of us having a girl. So I had no idea about this actually, about the whole strawberry and pop music thing. I know in The Sims 3 it was watermelon and you could listen to baby music to increase the chances of, you know, triplets and twins and everything. So apparently for a greater chance to have a girl, you eat strawberries and listen to pop music and I will definitely be doing that. Should I let Bellatrix take the day off? I'm kind of tempted to let her stay home today. We need the money. She's going to work. <laughs> Even though she's feeling a little tense, I, I need the money. All right. So we also have this classic painting right here. We're going to have Miss Jade sell it once she wakes up. Levi's taking a shower wawa. Shower wawa, because that makes sense. The mayor will be right over. Good, because we have beef with him, and pregnant or not, I want to fight him. Uh, so where is he? Here he is. Hey, Samir. Hi. You doing good? Yeah, I hope so. Because guess what? I'm giving you the cold shoulder. You're an old man now, first of all. Oh, he's... The baby was, like, moving in there. He was sparkling. Hey, Samir. How you doing, bud? Good? Not for long. <gasps> you too! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is just. Am I going between Levi and Levy again? Levi. Levi has put on quite a few pounds. Look at that belly. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have him actually come up here and plan his outfit and give him something new to wear because he was wearing this his previous. I'm so sorry if I'm like bright as day. But, um,. Yeah, he's wearing that his last pregnancy, so let's spice it up a little bit and give him a little something something. Like, this I freaking love. I love this so much. It's from the base game, and I'm just, like, all over it. Like, very autumn. I've been craving... I love summer so much, but now I'm like, I want fall, because I smelled a fall candle, and I was like, yep. Yep, I love that so much, but I'm going to do this, and I'm also going to give him some little loafers, very Coachella. But what we need to do is go eat some strawberries and garden a little bit and stuff like that, so we're going to do that. Ah. Bah. All right, so I'm going to <laughs> take him downstairs, and who has strawberries in their inventory? I believe it's Bellatrix? I can't check her inventory right now, but this one needs to wake up. I'm going to have Levi come down here and actually water the garden for me because it looks atrocious and I just can't stand it. So he's going to go do that for me. And then I'm going to have Jade go ahead and head downstairs, sell her painting. Sell to collector. Real quick. And then she's going to head inside and is she hungry? Yeah, she is. So she's going to open it up and grab herself some fish tacos for lunch. Well, he's going to come in here and listen to the pop channel at Liz. At Liz. <laughs> Same. All right, and then he's going to come dance. Oh, he's feeling very uncomfortable again. Me. Me. <laughs> All right, this little Missy who does have a new hair. I love changing her hair so much. I do it all the time. If you haven't noticed, it's a lot of fun. She's going to come in here and once again do a little bit of painting. But for this painting, oh, actually, yes, that's what we're going to do. There's this weird glitch that every time 
you move and you like take pictures and stuff, they actually don't pop back up. Why didn't I put my two other eggs out? Did she like just get those or something? There we go. Okay, so she's gonna, um, oh, that's what I wanted to do really quickly. Let's put something down like, mm, like this so she can paint it. It needs to be like up on a counter or something. Crapola. Crapola. What do I make? I can paint that. That's like a waste of everything ever. I'll paint that. That is what I will paint. So he's just going to dance for a little bit. <laughs> and the boys are now home. And they're going to, I don't care if you had a 10 state school, you're going to go ahead and sit your little booty down and do your homework because. You guys have been doing really good with your schoolwork, and I do not want to jinx that. Actually, what do you guys need for your school? Daily task? Yeah. See, they both have A's, and I don't want to jinx that. And, like, some get rid of it, so I'm going to have them continue doing their work. Oh, painting level 7. Jade can now create high-skill pop art, medium surrealism, and medium impressionistic imp paintings. Here it is. It's actually quite cute. I really like that. I think it's cute. Oh, it would look really nice in like a bathroom that was beach themed, which I do not have, but I'll put it up in the bathroom. See, I have to have my lights on. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Don't mind me, but I just got to turn the lights on, turn on all lights. I know this is like going to make my bills go up like crazy, but I'd prefer to have a nice bright house. All right, so these two are going to do their homework, and then I will allow them to go channel surf and all of that. Um, I wish they would have game consoles already. I really do miss it. Being able to, like, play The Sims Busting Out or something, I think that was a lot of fun. Great tunes from listening to music. All right, he's going to go use the potty. All right. This one, this one, like, <laughs> this one. Let's see. I do want her to have some friends. So I, I see her being friends with, like, Nina. So I'm going to invite Nina to hang out. Nina Caliente will be right over. Cool. Look at these two. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you finish your homework? Yeah? Okay, good. He's going to grab himself something to eat. Jesus, he slammed that. Uh-oh, is he feeling sick? Needs amusement. Well, go grab yourself something to eat because I'm sure you're a little hungry. All right, is Nina here? Hello, Nina Caliente. Looking mucho caliente. All right, so we're going to come over here and discuss our interests with her. I think having a sassy little friend would be kind of cool. I mean, look at her. She's pretty much wearing couture, even though it looks like it's from Limited 2. No big deal. No big deal, girl. We don't judge in this house. I mean, there's a pregnant man sitting next to you. <laughs> All right. So she's probably really into, like, gossiping and stuff. Oh, my gosh. She's bored. Complain about boredom. Listen, I'm not trying to let her die, so. You can die from boredom in this game. You know, normal stuff. So um, we're going to get to know her. You can't be bored about that. Brody walks by. Oh no, Brody's sick. So taking a shower will actually fight your illness, which is kind of nice. He's feeling nauseous. Oh no. It looks like it's going to go away very quickly though. Thank goodness. A nauseous feeling is never nice. All right. We are going to complain about TV sizes because, you know, that's, that's great. We're going to brag to her. She seems like she would like somebody that brags too. Mm. Let's gossip. Nina's probably all about that. Gossip. Of course you like that, don't you? Tell a joke about monkeys. Whip it out. Whip her with the ooh ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Jokes. Buy a motion gaming rig. I mean, there's that in The Sims, but it's not like... It's not like, you know... 
real gaming systems. All right, so she wants she has a whim of telling an unbelievable story. So we can do that. Where is it? Tell an unbelievable story. Do 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 do. Cannot find it. I don't know. I guess we will, um, what else can we do? What does she want to do? Meet someone new, buy an object worth 1,000 simoleons. We're going to gossip again. Tell an unbelievable story. There it is. All right, and Bellatrix is home. Bellatrix, do you have strawberries? I think she doesn't, actually. <gasps> she does. She has three strawberries. Yes. Okay, here you go, Levi. Here's some strawberries. I'm actually going to keep one of them, and I'm going to plant them. But, uh, where, what is he doing? He's on the computer. Aw, from family time. He's super happy. Uh, go ahead and eat these right now. Here's another one. Eat it. We want a girl. We want a girl. And destroy those. Why do you have those? Oh, I can't destroy that one. I guess I can still analyze it. But we're definitely, the next time he goes to work, we're going in with him. All right, we're gonna show off our muscles, which are non-existent. Nina is feeling playful, so I guess we will be a little funny and mess around with some jokes and stuff. Tell her a joke about monkeys again, because you can never get enough of monkeys. Look, look at little galaxy, like totally <laughs> chiming in. Oh my goodness. Is it just me or did he get bigger? I feel like he got bigger. I think he's going to have this baby in this part. Because he is getting humongo. Hmm, that was okay. <laughs> Alright, we are going to plant the strawberry. Plant it right there. Beltrix is done. She's not really feeling too well because there's people in the house and she is a, a loner. So, you know, she's probably not feeling too, too great here. Uh, she's also going to go use the toilet and she probably wants to, yeah, go have some fun. So she'll go channel surf. Get over there and talk to her. All right, we're just going to... Talk about cooking. Honey, please. Slap them silly. Okay, this can turn bad fast. Stop being rude. Now she's probably not going to find the slap them silly very funny at all. What's about to happen? Calm down, girls. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, Sim's already leaving. Okay, bye, Nina. Whatever. I'll come friends with your sister. Bye. Look, she's pissed off now. Wow. We were doing pretty good there for a while, and now she... All right, guys. Us. So, good morning. Um, Levi is awake and listening to some pop music to increase his chances of having a baby girl. Galaxy is eating breakfast and totally grossed out by his dad. I would be, too. And then he's going to go... Oh, it's Saturday. Oh, he doesn't have school today. Awesome. The boys can play and stuff today, and I'm happy about that. They can actually relax. The boys are always at school, so I'm actually very stoked about that and we live right by the park which means i'm going to allow mr galaxy to go play space explorer for a little while and then cosmo will join him after he's done eating and all of that uh bernie do you have work today he's feeling very tense from feeling dropped well when he has a day off which is tomorrow and monday i will definitely invite over rochelle and try to put something together for them gwendolian okay june Okay, but um, yeah, I would love for him to go on a date or something with this Kiara chick. Apparently, he really liked her, and of course, that didn't work out. So we're going to try. He does have work today, and we need that money. So I think I'm going to have him go in. Uh, you know what? I'm going to let him stay home today. I'm going to let him stay home. Yes. Take a vacation day, bud. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, Levi, shut your freaking pie hole. Go listen to music. All right, Cosmo, are you almost done? You can go hang out with your brother. All right. Brody, how are you feeling, bud? <laughs> oh, children, because he's near kids. Well, there's another one on the way. Go hit Blarfy a couple of times since that is like his prized possession and you hate kids. Why don't you just go hit his best friend in a dark closet? Nice. You know, healthy. Yell at him while you're at it. All right. He's feeling much better now. Thank goodness. Because that's a little scary. I'm not going to lie. Punching stuffed animals. I mean, all right. Um, so yeah, we're going to going to invite over Rochelle. Well, I really like this Kara chick. She, I remember her, like me really liking her. So I'm going to invite her over. Hopefully she's down. What's the matter? Oh, scratchy from illness. It feels as if there is a swarm of invisible insects marching all over Galaxy's skin. Oh no. Ew. No. Can we, like, take him? No? Okay, we need to order some medicine really quickly online for Galaxy, because that's not, that's not cute. That's not. So we're going to come over here and purchase, where is it? Order medicine. Yes. And let me... Place it on the ground, and he's going to come over here and take his medicine because he's clearly needing it, and he's not feeling very well either, so he's going to go do his thing. Cosmo, you can continue to play. You're healthy. I'm just ready for him to have this baby. Can you hurry up, dude, because it needs to happen already. And Kiara, did she say she would come? Sorry, I didn't see it. Kiara is busy right now. Okay, then Rochelle it is. Rochelle is number one, apparently. Like, we keep... Ended up with Rochelle. All right, cool. He's feeling a bit better now. And when you take medicine, you actually feel energized and all of that, which is kind of cool. What is this? Pretty tasty from eating food. That was tasty. Well, that's good. I'm actually going to have him work on his social skill, I think is what he needs. Become friends with three other children. Become a friends with adults and reach level 10 of the social skill. Well... There's children out here, so why don't you go play Space Explorer with them? What's the matter with you? Oh my gosh, now he's sick. He needs medicine too. Let's head back upstairs, purchase. Not books. Purchase medicine. There we go. Let's go ahead and place that down on the floor. And Cosmo is going to come take his medicine as well. It looks like both of the boys are getting really sick. Unchallenged from genius straight. Clearly, he, he wants to mess around with the motor skill a little bit or something. Maybe read a book. Maybe that's what we'll do. Okay, dude. Do you need to pee? Yes. Go use the toilet. Don't be a freak and, like, wet your pants in front of all these sims. Let's see if I can order some books for the kids. I think they would appreciate it. Let's see. Children books. Um, How I Dumped Your Father. Well, that's one. They don't have. Well, they have a father, but it's like weird. It's like they're half alien. So, I don't know. The Little Train That Couldn't. The Lord of the Swings. <laughs> the First Unicorn. The Art of Narwhals. Oh, we're getting that one. That's a good one. And is there any other books that I should get for them? Or like the adults romance. Oh my goodness. Emotional. Oh, these are cool. Um, energy bolster yourself. Inspirational. Make them laugh till they cry. Pick up lines. Taking control. Poetry. Nonfiction. Bangers are the worst. Okay then. Whatever that means. Tickle your own ivories. All right, so there we go. 
Yep, he's feeling mucho better, right? Yes, good. We're going to place these books on the floor, and I'm going to let the boys come in here. And I'm actually going to read this one to Galaxy. And Cosmo is going to read his book. He's reading How I Dumped Your Father. And we're going to read Galaxy, The Art of Narwhals. All right, Brody. Oh, now Brody's sick. Are you kidding me? Everybody's sick. Okay, go order some medicine. Go ahead and don't place it in the world. Go ahead and take it yourself. Did he? He put it in the fridge. That's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, go ahead and take the medicine. And I'm also going to do some work at home. Um, also, also, also. He's feeling very angry, so I guess go ahead. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I thought Blarfy had a black eye, but he doesn't. And now he's feeling flirty. Psychotic much? My goodness. But I'm going to have him. Oh, we don't have the analyzing machine. Dang, Flabbit. Never mind. What does he want to do? Flirt with somebody? All right. Well, Rochelle. Let's see. Can Kiara come over now? Or is she still busy? Okay, cool. Kiara will be right over. Yay. Here she is. All right. So I'm going to ask her about her day. Now we're feeling angry again. Now we're feeling flirty again. Is this like a side effect of our medicine or something? Because this is not okay. We're going to compliment her outfit. I am going to ask her about her love life because, you know, I'm a little curious. Um, I'm going to brighten her day a little bit. Give her relationship advice, even though... Okay, creepy Eliza, just jogging on by. I mean, that's not really creepy, but you're just creepy in general, Eliza. So I'm going to say you're creepy jogging by. We're going to talk about handiness and tell her how handy we are. <laughs> We're going to flatter her because every girl likes to be flattered. Um, and we are going to... Um, do a pickup line. What does he want to do? Tell a dirty joke. All right, so she's going to tell her a dirty joke as well. Oh, my gosh. They're kind of feeling it. She's feeling flirty, too. All right, we're going to confess our attraction. Yay. Do it. Schedule a date. Oh. Oh. I think they're feeling it. We're going to sexy pose. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I feel so sorry for him. Oh, but she likes it. She likes it. We're going to offer her a rose as well because that's pretty, pretty suave if you ask me. She likes it. Oh, are we going to kiss her? I think we might. So try to embrace her. She's having it. She's having it. I can kiss her if I want to. I should try. She's feeling flirty. He's feeling flirty. They're feeling it. We're going to try it. The front lawn. It's classy. Yay. Finally. Woo. All right, now that we got that out of the way, we can make out with you. Aww. Okay, we are going to now whisper seductively in her ear, which is a little creepy, to be honest. We're going to, we just blew her a kiss, actually. We're going to kiss her hands, because that's pretty romantic. He still wants to schedule a date, but I don't. Feel like taking them on a date right now. Woohoo and try perfect. Baby. We're not gonna do that. Nope, nope, no. We already got one of those on the way. <laughs> We're going to hold her hands, be a little romantic, you know. We can ask her to be our girlfriend. Ooh. I think we're going to woohoo, but we're not going to ask her to be our girlfriend quite yet. 
She's so down. Get it, Brody. I wanted him to be my Casanova. So, oh, my dude, Levi's bad. Oh, the scandal. Oh, her pajamas are really cute. Oh, they're really cute. Yeah, I'm over here. They're about to woo. I'm like, yes. Pajamas on deck. So, guys, how's life? I hope it's fantastic. We done here? Okay. <laughs> she's gonna sleep in the bed. Oh no, okay, she's gonna wake up. Good. I was gonna be like, oh, this is a little awkward. All right, cool. Oh, Professor, undying love, disgust, fear of commitment. Um, I guess we can right after we woohoo with her. Hey, by the way, I really hate being committed to people and things. That'll just make anybody feel awesome. Jade's just like, um, can you guys move? <laughs> Don't join in the conversation. This is awkward. They just woo Jade. Stop. All right. Well, he finally found somebody that's willing to touch him. That's nice. Jade's feeling tense from not buying anything. She wants to try to calm herself down in the mirror. Okay. Well, we don't have a mirror in the house, so. Oh, no, we do. Yes. Okay. Go try to calm yourself down. Go look at yourself in the mirror. And then look at this painting and admire it. View it. What else does she want to do? Buy an object worth 500. Yeah, okay. Do we have bills? No. I think we moved on on a tu moved in on a Tuesday, so we don't have bills or something. I don't know. Um, Bellatrix is going to come down here and weed everything and look at that plantain tree that looks awesome that looks awesome we're getting a call from Suzanne Grimm Suzanne I don't want to hang out with you to be honest all right and then we're going to water all of our plants as well All right, and how much longer of his pregnancy are we gonna go through? We're just gonna do some chores around the house. Oh, this broke, Brody. I made sure you got some woohoo, so. Oh, I replaced it, I was gonna have him repair it, dang it. Is that pop? Because if it's not pop, we're gonna have issues. It wasn't, or was it? Okay, I, it was, good. I believe his aspiration, yes, become a parent, socialize with your child 10 times and read to your child for a total of two hours. So I guess we're going to read to Galaxy after we're done. All right, let's just do all this. This part's probably going to be extra long. I'm just kind of, you know, doing whatever all this is. Oh, and look at your spinach plant. It needs, it needs some loving. I wish the strawberries would already grow. We need more strawberries. All of those noises for just <laughs> doing this. Jeez. Huh, 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 huh. No. Huh. No. Huh. Normal. Totally normal. Okay, guys. So I'm actually going to have everybody just kind of work on skills and everything uh, and get them ready for bed. And we will see if in the morning he is going to have this baby or something. So we'll see All right, you guys, guys. So here we are at the hospital. And oh, did it fix his mood? <gasps> He's in a fantastic mood now. Probably because it was like, if your Sim doesn't take care of himself, he's going to die. All right. Well, he's in a really great mood now. Can I check in? Check in at front desk. All right. 
here we go. This doctor's like, all right, dude, get ready. He's probably scared, like, not another one. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. Um, this baby boy is not wanted. <laughs> Call me a horrible parent, but um, I want to name him unwanted. But um, I should name him Need. Needs love. We're going to name this baby Neptune. That's my favorite planet, by the way. Neptune love. For the love of Neptune. Come on. Stop glitching out. Give me the kid. Um, so due to this, I have a couple of questions as to what you guys would like to do. So yeah, guys, I am going to go ahead and end this part here, but I'm going to leave a poll link down below where you can vote on the destiny of Mr. Neptune here. We can turn it into a she when the baby grows up, or we can go ahead and send it back to space. Yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and I love you all so very much, and I will see you all next time.